Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. Now, this is the Bitcoin chart from back in, not from the beginning, but back fairly early on, actually close to when I started covering it, which was June in 2011. You can see it $2.22 price here on the chart. And we're around, you can see here trading at about $413 a Bitcoin. So that's what a 20 fold move, 2000% return. Now, people have asked me to address the issue of Bitgold, what that is. Before I do that, I want to explain to you what a cryptocurrency is. So, a, a cryptocurrency is an attempt to duplicate gold in a digital format. Uh, if you understand why gold has value, why silver has value, why any commodity has value is because it's limited in, it, it can't be printed. Uh, no authority, central bank, uh, it's not fiat. It, it, it's not, uh, its value is not determined by what someone says it is. Its value is determined by the marketplace. And that value has to do with the amount of the, commodity, whether it's gold or silver, physically outstanding, uh, how much people want to pay for it, and how much it costs to get more of it. In other words, mining costs. Now we know with, with gold, it's still profitable to mine gold and have primary gold mines and uh, expend energy and labor and capital and uh, all the things it takes to run a business to get gold out of the ground. Silver, not so much. Uh, silver really is mined as a secondary uh, resource for copper and zinc and things like that because the price is, is so suppressed. We know that. I've covered it many times. But the basic point is that cryptocurrencies are an attempt to use uh, the cryptographic hashing function uh, of mathematics to simulate the rarity that gold and silver have. Now, Bitcoin uh, is the first of the uh, cryptocurrencies. It's the granddaddy of all of them. It's by no means the best. It's uh, by no means the uh, most efficient. Uh, I actually just deposited some Bitcoin from I think I actually transferred a half a Bitcoin from my Yobit account over to my Bittrex account to buy uh, altcoin and it took, it was only requiring two confirmations for the transfer to take place, but I think it took like 45 minutes. Whereas uh, I transferred some Florin coin up to my Poloniex account and it took me about, it was 18 confirmations required, but it only took like five minutes. So. Uh, Bitcoin is not the best in many, many ways, but it's the first. It's the first attempt to limit the number of virtual coins. And it's successful because it's based on an unbreakable, unhackable cryptographic hash. And uh, the, the, there are a lot of other coins out there. There are proof of work, proof of stake. Uh, but Bitcoin is the granddaddy and it's the first one and you can see that it, it is successful because it's gone from two dollars actually went from one cent to 414 dollars so you tell me how big of a return that is one cent to 414 dollars now the issue we want to talk about is bit gold now, the first thing I want to say is, uh, well, let's pull up my Litecoin wallet here. Uh, I pulled it up earlier. It's now up to date. And you can see that uh, I have 800 Litecoins. I don't know what the price is right now. I think it's, let's pull up the Litecoin chart here. It's $3.22. So you can see that at one point Litecoin hit about 50 bucks. So uh, I'd be sitting pretty if, if Litecoin went back to 50 bucks. But uh, you can see on my Litecoin wallet, this is an amount of Litecoins that I physically hold in this wallet. This wallet resides on this computer 
And of course, I have it set to if I wanted to send Litecoins, I have to put in a password. Uh, there's a lot of protections on this. But uh, if I want to, I can just export this wallet. I choose backup wallet and it'll create a file, a wallet.dat file, which most of the coins name that wallet file, wallet.dat. And it's a, a file of these uh, encrypted keys, private keys, that uh, are my rights to this wealth. And as long as I properly protect it, this is something that I physically own. It physically resides on this computer and uh, they're keys that I possess. So that's wealth that I possess. That's very similar to physically holding uh, gold or silver. Uh, so Litecoin and Bitcoin have been very successful in imitating that uh, feature of the precious metals. The, the ability to physically possess uh, a store of wealth, the, a limited store of wealth. Now, we want to look at bit gold and see how that relates to that. But first of all, I want to jump over to Poloniex and look at my account here. This is a coin that I've been buying into recently just to share with the members. I'm not recommending anybody buy into this. I'm just buying into it. This is actually a coin that had a $45 million market cap at one point. And you can see that it's gone down to nothing. This volume spike was something that interested me. So I started accumulating it uh, very near this 1000 price because it seemed to be a base. So I have been accumulating this coin. You can see it's up 7% today. Uh, the top coin here I'm also accumulating, which is NAUT uh, not. So I'm trying to bottom pick some of these because some of these coins can move 10, 20, 50 fold uh, without a blink of an eye and uh, you can make some good money. But uh, they're all operating on the same concept and that is that there's a limited supply, that they are a store of wealth in and of themselves and that also, as I pointed out in my early Bitcoin videos, that they're, uh, they give you the ability to send money anywhere in the world. They also give the ability to defeat capital controls. And we're going to come back around to this issue of defeating capital controls uh, after we've looked at uh, Bitgold. So having that as a a preface and introduction. Let's take a look at Bitgold. So the first thing you would think when you hear this term Bitgold is you would think, oh, well, this is a, uh, a merger of Bitcoin and gold. And if you remember when the Bitcoin debate first came out, there were a lot of misunderstandings. There were a lot of people um, I'm not going to call the people shills. There, there's a lot of people who have changed their mind, including Andy Hoffman. And uh, I really can't remember every where everyone shakes out on that. But if you remember, Chris Dwayne came out very strongly against Bitcoin. And others came out very strongly against Bitcoin. But uh, Bitgold is trying to capitalize on this idea of uh, cryptocurrencies. But the thing is, is that Bitgold really has absolutely nothing to do with cryptocurrencies at all. So I'm going to read to you some of the information from the Wikipedia article. And uh, you're going to see here that basically Bitgold is pretty much gold money. In fact, you can see here they acquired gold money. But let's read this. Bitgold is a Canadian company offering international savings and payment services which allow people and businesses to send payments and hold savings with physical gold. Its headquarters are in Toronto, Canada. Founded in 2014 by Roy Seabag and Josh Crum, Bitgold is the sole operating business of Bitgold Inc. Initial investors in Bitgold were Soros Brothers Investment which is run by Alexander Soros, the son of George Soros. On June 16, 2015, Bitgold announced the completion of an additional $21 million in secondary financing. 
Now you tell me if you think about it, how is this going to generate the type of profits that will pay back uh, $21 million in financing? On June 26, 2015, BitGold Inc. announced U.S. residents can sign up on the BitGold platform and buy, sell, or redeem gold. On June 30, 2015, BitGold Inc. announced former head of PayPal Canada, Darren McMullen, to be CEO. And on September 4, 2015, BitGold Inc. announced the launch of their mobile application iOS and Android. And on November 28, 2015, BitGold Inc. announced the appointment of John Butler to lead the Wealth Services Division. He is well known by writing Golden Revolution in 2012. On May 22, 2015, BitGold Inc. announced the acquisition of Gold Money Inc. and its subsidiaries for a purchase price of $52 million, integrating over $1.5 billion in assets and over $135,000 user signups into the combined company. So BitGold actually bought James Turk's company. Now, if you think about... Uh, Gold Money. Gold Money was a company, uh, or is a company, but it's now controlled by BitGold, is a company where you can basically rent these vaulting services overseas. So essentially, it gives you the ability to store your gold outside of your current jurisdiction. That's pretty much all that it amounts to and it, I signed up an account when I was doing an interview with James Turk and I think I have uh, I think it was Guernsey in in England and uh, one in Singapore I can't remember where the other storage locations are but uh, now we see that uh, gold money has been bought out by Bit Gold. So the first red flag that's going to come up in your mind is if gold is the ability of a person to hold wealth in their own hands and protect themselves from um, the machinations of governments and all other risks that come along with the money system, and if cryptocurrencies are the ability of a person to hold a virtual wallet uh, on their computer or on their phone or even in a cold wallet stored in their safe or with private keys memorized in their brain, um, that would mean that gold and cryptocurrencies are both protections against counterparty risk. But BitGold, on the other hand, is a system or gold money uh, James Turk system is a system that is completely based on counterparty risk. The counterparty being the storage facility that has your gold overseas. So what does BitGold offer? Well, what BitGold offers you is the ability to have a credit card uh, and have your wealth in gold. BitGold is currently available in more than 11 languages. BitGold services allow people to purchase gold and make financial tra transactions using the acquired gold between individuals and businesses. As of 2015, BitGold operates 166 markets, has 625,000 registered accounts. BitGold allows customers to send, receive, and redeem gold bullion. Okay, so basically you're storing your bullion in a physical location and then they give you a credit card. Uh, they give you the ability to virtually trade that. That's really all this is. So the first thing you need to recognize is this has nothing whatsoever to do with cryptocurrencies. Uh, why did they call it BitGold? Probably to try to capitalize on the theme of cryptocurrencies. But it has nothing. There is no cryptocurrency here. This is just a credit card based on gold stored in some overseas vault. Now, let's look at a story here that is talking about the dangers of uh, BitGold. And this story is BitGold Review, What to Beware of with BitGold. And uh, 
there's some interesting stuff here. BitGold is a brand new platform that intends to offer gold payments to customers. It is publicly traded on the TSX. Now, I already talked about how Soros is involved and very many other shady characters are involved. TSX Venture Exchange in Canada, the stock tip ticker is TSV. According to an interview with CNBC, they have 104,000 active customers and store approximately 276 kilograms of bullion stored or about $10.7 million at $1,213 an ounce. This means approximately $103 per active user. Major competitors include Bullion Vault and Gold Money. Bullion Vault has approximately 55,000 customers and $2 billion of bullion stored at or about $36,000 per customer, while Gold Money has about 22,000 customers and $1.3 billion, or about $60,000 per customer. On March 5th, 2015, BitReserve brought suit against BitGold in New York Southern District Court. On May 13th, 2015, BitGold began trading on the TSX Venture Exchange. On May 22nd, 2015, BitGold Inc. announced the purchase of Gold Money, operating subsidiaries, intellectual property, and tra transaction valued at $51.9 million Canadian. On June 2000, uh, 26, 2015, BitGold announced, U.S. residents can sign up on the BitGold platform and buy, sell, or redeem gold using BitGold's Aurum payment and settlement technology. U.S. Re residents will also have access to the BitGold mobile app and a prepaid card when these features launch over the coming weeks. Send and receive gold payment features are not initially available in the U.S. What are BitGold's products and services? The BitGold Aurum Gold Settlement Technology is now integrated via the automated clearinghouse ACH network in a NACHA compliant manner with nine of the top U.S. financial institutes. So it's, it's linked with the banks. Is BitGold safe? BitGold is a new, unproven, and appears to be in a regulatory gray area. The company itself does not appear to state what regulator has jurisdiction and oversees their trade practices, such as ensuring the customer funds are kept safe. Additionally, the CEO has endorsed the use of the system with online gambling. And it goes on. A lot of shady characters here. We've got Bullion Vault CEO Paul Tustain. And uh, I'll link this article so you can read it. So I just want to go over the main points here. Um, here's a Peter Schiff article on this. Um, but uh, I, I have to say, just to be perfectly honest for members, this is a long article. You need to read the whole thing. And uh, before I give my comments here, uh, let me read just this one user's comment. This is from Steve Simpson. He says, I really like the BitGold concept and was recently using this service investing some spare cash. This service worked fine until I requested a withdrawal. The 1% withdrawal fee advertised on the BitGold website ended up costing me nearly 30% by the time the funds landed in my bank account due to FX changes to convert my BitGold account funds into Great British Crown from Canadian dollar. I received no breakdown from BitGold of the charges and simply was referred to the terms and conditions in relation to FX charges. I tried to complain to BitGold about this but received no response despite three emails and a couple of phone calls. Based on my overall experience, I will not be using this service in the future and will instead be investing in physical gold. So here's a guy who lost 30% trying to get his money out. So what is the upshot of this? Well, let me summarize it. Uh, BitGold is, in my opinion, just a fraud. It's an attempt to uh, get the, the buzz that belongs to Bitcoin and uh, attach it to gold. Uh, there is no cryptographic hashing function uh, connected to BitGold at all. Uh, BitGold is just simply a storage of gold in some remote locations and uh, it has um, the ability to connect a credit card to it. It has nothing to do with cryptocurrencies. 
it, uh, in my opinion, is a very, very dangerous thing. And you can see with that comment there about somebody uh, losing 30% just because of the Forex charges, very, very dangerous. Uh, now, I personally uh, have a small, I think I have $200 in a, a gold money account that I opened with James Turk. And that was just because I was doing an interview with him. I find it very troubling that uh, James Turk's entire organization was folded into this bit gold. The whole thing smacks of um, government control, people keeping an eye on where you have your physical gold and uh, probably seizing it before you can get it out of there. So let me close by explaining how you can actually use cryptocurrencies, you can use a real currency, uh, a cryptocurrency, and real physical gold. So we already have providers like Provident Metals and others that will take cryptocurrencies as payment for physical metal. Now, uh, if you're a person who's worried about the political future of countries like the United States, Canada, Australia, Great Britain, or it could be other countries like Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, and you're thinking about moving your wealth somewhere. Um, if you have the ability to sell those physical metals for cryptocurrencies, which you do, uh, it, it's kind of tough right now, but it will get a lot easier. Um, you can take your physical metal and sell it for cryptocurrency in the jurisdiction where you live and then you can take that cryptocurrency if you have to you can actually memorize the private key in your brain and walk out with a brain wallet and go to the new country recreate that wallet that brain wallet in a, into a paper wallet and then into an electronic wallet and get all your uh, cryptocurrencies and then go and buy the same amount yes you're going to take a loss you're going to take a uh, percentage fee, nothing like 30%, you probably will maybe pay 2%. You might actually gain depending on the direction of the markets, but you actually can take the value of your cryptocurrency out of the current jurisdiction in your brain and go out to another jurisdiction and buy physical metals and uh, you have successfully transferred your metals to a safe jurisdiction. That to me is much more preferable uh, than a fake uh, crypto storage program like BitGold. So for me, it's a definite double thumbs down. And we'll talk to you next time.